Hello guys, welcome back to the C1 Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily C1 Engineering videos. Today our lecture is about to find the length of the spiral bar. The spiral bar is also known as the transverse reinforcement. It is used in the case of the circular column. While in case of the beams, we call this type of transverse reinforcement as the strips. While in case of the rectangular column, we call it as the ties. While when we have a circular column, like this is a circular column, you can see. So in this case, the transverse reinforcement used to hold these main bars. This reinforcement now, transverse reinforcement in the case of the circular column, is known as the spiral reinforcement, a spiral bar. And in this lecture, we want to find the length of the spiral bar, that how much this length of the spiral bar. Because in exam, in interview, you to sometimes they put a question on you that how to find the length of this spiral or, or helix bar. This is also known as sometimes called as helix bar. So in this lecture, we are going to find the length of this spiral bar. So this is an example I have taken from a book uh, in which the depth of the column, you can see this is a circular column in which the height or depth of the column is 10 foot and the distance between each a spiral is 2 foot and this is distance between consecutive two spiral is known as the pitch this is known this is called as the pitch it is the technical used uh, in, the, in civil engineering you should call as the pitch the distance between the two uh, transverse reinforcement like in this for example and this is also called pitch this is also called pitch and the pitch is given to us that it is 2 foot in this case, the depth of the beam, total height of the beam is the, or the total depth of the beam is 10 foot. So to find the length of this spiral, that how much length of the spiral is. So we can find out by this formula, n length of the spiral is equal to the n under root c square plus p square. Now, there are three unknowns in that, where n, n is called the number of turns and it's called number of turns. That how much turns are in this spiral, whole length. How much turn? We can find by this formula. The total height, depth of the column divided by the pitch. The total depth of the column is 10 foot. The pitch is 2 foot. So we get 5 number of turns. So there are 5 number of turns. You can also see 1 turn, 2 turn, 3, 4, 5 turns are used in this column, so in this spiral bar. So n is equal to the 5. Now what is c? c is equal to the circumference of the circumference of this bar, of this spiral bar. This is a circumference. You can see this is a circumference. This is the total length is called the circumference. And we can find the circumference of the circular bar by this formula, pi d, where Pi is known to us, which is 3.14. Diameter uh, of this uh, of this spiral will be given to us, or you can find out by tape. This distance is known as the diameter of the spiral bar. So you can find out on the site, or it will be given to you that the uh, diameter of the spiral is like this distance. This is known to us, and it is called d. And in this case, it is uh, given to us that use the circumference equal to the 3 foot. The distance is known as the circumference, uh, sorry, the diameter, and it is known as that it is 3 foot here. So we will put here the 3, so it will become, circumference will become 9.4. So 9.4 foot is the circumference of this, uh, of this uh, spiral. Now, P, P is known as the pitch. I already told you, told you guys, which is given is two foot here in this case. So now all the values are known to us. Now just putting all these values in this formula, we will get the length of this whole spiral, the length of this whole spiral used in this circular column. So by putting all these values, L is equal to the N, N is equal to the five here. Now under root C square, C is known to us, which is 9.4 here. So I'll put 9.4 square addition sign, then P, P is also known to us, which is 2 square. Now solving this equation and calculator, we will get uh, what we will get here. I'm just removing this. What I will get? L is equal to the 5 
and by taking the square and adding this value, I get 92.73, right? Now, by taking the square root and multiplying with the 5, I get my answer, which is equal to the equal to the 48 foot almost 48 foot so the length of this spiral this whole spiral is 48 foot so we don't need to find by any other method there is a shortcut method how to find the length of the spiral and this is the formula l is equal to the n under root c square plus p square when n is the number of turns c is the circumference of the diameter spiral ball and p is the pitch the distance between two consecutive uh, spiral it's known as the pitch so just putting all these value and just calculating by calculator so you can get the length of the spiral bar it's very useful formula used especially on the field uh, so you should remember this formula for your future purposes and so this was all about the today topic and subscribe our channel for dd7 engineering videos thank you for watching our video